episode two of the Liquid Hike Show. Today's show is about the Patagonian toothfish or 10 facts about Chilean sea bass. When you eat fish, you might think that when you select and pay for Chilean sea bass or order it at a restaurant, that it really is Chilean sea bass. But alas, it is really a Patagonian toothfish, which just doesn't sound that appetizing. Patagonian toothfish belongs to the cod ice fish family, Notothenidae. We may also think of these bass as being plentiful and small, but they're not. The Patagonian toothfish is an amazing, unique, big, giant, ugly species of fish with giant teeth, a large body, and they are at risk. Illustrations of the fish make them look like really small and do not give credit to their sheer size. Embrace ocean diversity and let's help these interesting Antarctic individuals. We've heard of person of interest. The Patagonian toothfish is a fish of interest, sadly, to the fishing industry. Number one, Patagonian toothfish can live up to 48 years. They can grow as long as two meters and weigh up to 330 pounds or 150 kilograms. That's such a wonderfully large fish. Two meters is over six feet, which is taller than most men. Large fish like that, like the endangered black sea bass here off the California coast, are such a rare and wonderful sighting, and they're endangered too. Number two, we will probably never see a Patagonian toothfish underwater because they live really, really deep around the Patagonian and Antarctic shelf. Imagine the very bottom of South America. In the ocean area south of that, between South America and Antarctica, that makes them easy for illegal fishermen to target. Being part of the ice fish family, these guys love the coldest water on earth. They live at depths reaching 300 to 2,500 meters in the Southern Ocean, in water specifically influenced by the Antarctic Circumpolar Current. Number three, they are natural food for sperm whales, southern elephant seals, and giant squid. Number four, they spawn during the austral or southern winter, producing pelagic eggs and larvae. Number five, they eat fish, cephalopods like squid, and crustaceans. They're in demand due to their size and because people don't know how to cook. <laughs> and the quality of their white oily flesh, nicknamed white gold, which requires little skill to cook. Number seven, illegal fishing is wiping out the Patagonian toothfish populations, and this has become more critical in the past three years. Number eight, there are several methods of fishing that will literally kill everything in the ocean. Illegal toothfish operators are using many prohibited fishing methods, including gill nets. According to the Sea Shepherds, gill nets are forbidden due to the high risk of incidental catch of seabirds and marine mammals, as well as the risk that lost or abandoned gill nets will become ghost nets that continue to kill fish indefinitely. Number nine, with their long life and slow growing, they take years to mature and grow, so they're not repopulating. Number 10, when you're shopping or eating, just know that like most imported fish, fresh, quote unquote, sea bass is nearly always refreshed product, right? Because it froze to get to you and then it's frozen fish that has been thawed, so it's not really fresh, fresh. Anytime there are black market activities such as poaching, it affects much more than the targeted species, always including crime, risk, danger, and of course money in its wake. You can read more about the Sea Shepherd's efforts to protect the Patagonian toothfish from Sea Shepherd's Operation Ice Fish 2015 to 2016, which is how I actually learned about the Patagonian toothfish. Even the legal fishermen support the Sea Shepherds to eliminate the poachers from the Southern Ocean. It's dangerous, and we're losing these species. Thanks for listening. I'm your host, Michelle the Trainer. Please visit and support Liquid Hike, L-I-Q-U-I-D-H-I-K-E dot com. Thank you.